Okay, welcome back. Today it's all about fundamentals. I've got the Huddersfield Hydras, the sliding players on the uh, game board at the moment. I'm just going to work on some sliding. Um, it's a, it's a, a skill I don't get to practice enough. It's a skill one really needs to practice every day in order to become proficient at manipulating Sabidio sliders. Um, it's all good and well to uh, uh, work on this. Um, however, in the heat of a match, uh, a lot of it goes out the window if you don't practice it enough. So, it's the same as with uh, a musical instrument or video games or anything that requires manual dexterity, hand-eye coordination. Uh, muscle memory is key. It needs to be become something that one does not think about when uh, uh, manipulating the figures. I'm not going to presume to try to teach anyone how to properly flick these things. I'm not qualified for that. Um, and I'm going to make a bold statement here. Very few Sabidio players are, because uh, uh, I've not seen any two Sabidio players who flick uh, a figure in exactly the same manner. Uh, there are uh, broad uh, definitions on a proper flick and a correct and the proper manner. Uh, the fingernail is key for it to be ruled proper as far as some of the more uh, astringent rule sets go. So um, so none of this flicking from the, the sides or, or, or back like this or anything. It's with the, the, the fingernail, uh, or at least that part of your finger. Maybe not necessarily the nail itself, especially if you uh, don't have long fingernails. All right, so uh, let's just see what we can do here. I think the first exercise I'm going to practice is just try flicking from the penalty dot and try to get it in the circle here. That's a pretty uh, easy maneuver. Uh, and that's a bold statement. Because again, this is, I don't get to practice this enough. There's not enough hours in the day. That's going to be easier from on this side of the table because I can get behind uh, the goal like so. I can't get behind the goal on the other side because that side of the table is against the wall. So we'll have to adapt when we do it over there. Okay. Okay, a little too hard. These have been polished, these bases. So, okay, still a little too hard. So I'm going to have to make an adjustment. There we go. It's just a slight, slight adjustment. Okay, that would have gone out of bounds. And I, had there not been another figure there, we'll try again. Okay. Okay, just a, a very light tap, really. Oh, not, not hard enough. There we go. Okay. 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 And we'll do it one more time. All right. Okay. It really wouldn't hurt to run through little exercises like this before every match, but who has time for that? Uh, I'm sure some of you do, uh, but I don't. Not anymore. Okay, we'll do the same thing now. I'm not flicking from behind the figure, as you can probably sort of tell here. Okay, yeah, this, see, it's totally different from over here. Too hard. Got to make your adjustments. Okay, not doing so well from this side. Not as accurate. Okay, there we go. Okay, do another one. Better. Yep. Mm, went out the circle. Gotta stay in. Okay, that was a little better. Let's do it again. It's these little drills, folks. Too hard. Ooh, perfect. That's what you want, at least that's what I'm trying to achieve here. That was pretty good, all right. Still too hard. Okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah, all right. Now the same thing from over here again. This time I'm specifically aiming for the center of the uh, circle there on the little dot. Okay, and again I'm right behind. In fact, 
Let's add some challenge here. Now I'm doing it like this. I am right-handed, so it would not avail me really to try to flick these with my left hand. Uh, if you're ambidextrous, uh, you have a huge advantage with the beauty of. Okay. okay. Pretty good. Well, I'm getting in the circle, but I'm getting nowhere near the center. There, that's pretty good. Way off the course there. The thing is, you just don't have time to line these up when you're playing the game. So muscle memory is key. If you can build that skill. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Not perfect. Too hard. Pretty good. Often completely miss my target with the ball while uh, there we go I'm going right over the center line there yeah this time I'm specifically looking at this dot I'm not looking at the figure at all okay so it went on target I just hit it too hard too soft all right Goldilocks where's just like just right I think I'm going to find it. There it was, but still too hard. All right. Okay. That's straining my back muscles. Let's get, take a step closer here. Yeah, that was on target. I just didn't hit it hard enough. That was off target. Not bad. This is passable anyway. I'm just happy the bases are operating real well. Good. Good. These are, uh, these super footy bases are technically heavyweights, even though they don't have a metal washer inside them. They're just made with a, a heavier plastic than the old Subidio lightweight. Now, we're going to do something similar, except that I'm going around to the other side of the table here for this. I'll be standing over here. This is an awkward shot for me anyway, because I almost have to, to lean in like so. In fact, before I even get started, it's warming up in here. I'm going to have to take this sweatshirt off. Too hot for a sweatshirt today anyway. Okay. All right. My goal is not to send this ball flying down the uh, pitch here. I just want to touch the ball. I just want to meet the ball. I just want to intercept the ball, if you will, however you want to put it here. Not hard enough. Okay. That's no great distance. In a full-size Subidio pitch, that's no great distance at all. It seems like forever to me. Seems like hundreds of yards to me right now. Okay. I didn't want it to move, but... Okay. Now, why wouldn't I want it to move? Why would I want to try to just lightly tap it where it barely moves at all? Well, say this is a defender right here. If I hit this thing too hard, say this is my first flick. Okay? Let's say the defender's right here. Uh, let's try again. There we go. Now the defender has blocked this... Uh, attacker from getting to the ball unless I did something crazy off the wall uh, which we'll talk about rebounds way way down the road um, but um, at this stage all I want to do is lightly tap the ball it's a tough it's a tough thing to do I've set the bar really high here now and I don't think it's gonna happen from right here this is a very very tough spot that's a, that's better uh, I'll try the same shot from over on the other side to see how well I do. Uh, this feels more natural, probably because my right hand is to the, my right side rather than crossed over. Okay. 
Still hit it way too hard, but I sure uh, got it there. Ooh, that's a little closer to what I want to do. He didn't touch the ball. He's technically lost possession there, but okay. We'll do dribbling, you know, trying to control the ball down the pitch at a later time. This is all about sliding today. The ball's just there to kind of set as a, as a frame of reference. It's not hard enough. I'll try another base here after this one. Okay. Well. Nope. Too hard. It's possible old lightweight bases would be much easier to do this with. These are really heavy bases. Yeah, that's a little better. Um, hmm. Missed. Uh, losing my focus here, folks. I'm, look, I'm not looking at the ball. Now I am. Let's see. Okay, well, at least I made contact. Um, well, any number of defenders could have gotten there and blocked me from a, taking a shot at goal there. Now, from this distance, it's probably much easier to... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's closer to what I'm trying to achieve. This may be too great a distance to try to uh, pull this off. I mean, it's about six inches uh, without getting a tape measure out or a ruler to, to measure that. Just kind of a guess. Nope. Okay. Well, I think I'll try. I'm going to try it once from back. There is what I was trying to do right there, folks. If I can do that consistently, that's really going to help you... Uh, maintain possession because if you if you tap it too far away from you it gives the defense too many opportunities to slide in there and prevent you but it actually makes more sense for the defense to come on this side of the ball that way even if you do make contact you just pass the, the possession away and a good subudio player could actually sneak that around like so all right let's uh, try some things from this end i might be better at this from head on now listen, this is ideal because I'm on the other end of the table here. I can't get to the other end of the table over there. No, there's no way for me to uh, rearrange things to make it happen. Um, okay. That's much closer to what I'm trying to achieve. I feel like, I'm, yeah, I'm straight on. This is why if you have a full-size Subutio pitch on a large table, it's got to be in the, out in the middle of a room with nothing surrounding it in order to play this game at the optimum level. Oh, finally, that's what I've been trying to achieve. Now, you're, you're going to ask yourselves, well, won't that give anyone defending uh, this goal a huge disadvantage trying to make the shots from over there and not being as proficient? Well, yeah, but remember, the teams swap, half, uh, swap sides at the half, so both teams will have an opportunity to not suck. Okay, way too hard. Yeah, it's a little better. I'd like to keep it in the circle at least. That's it. Uh, just looking ahead to dribbling just a little bit in order to keep this ball headed downfield, I'm going to have to do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, on a good day, a shot at goal. Oh, that was terrible. There we go. So yeah, I'm a little better at this skill from down on this end. And now, so far, I've just been working on shots straight up and down the field. Or on you know, sliding straight up and down the field. That's very rarely the case in this game. It's always angles. It's always angles. Um, let's try to set up something here. Okay, here we go. Center. Half. Something like that. So that's... A, Presumably a right angle. I want to try to get this base through this gap. Let's see if I can pull this off. Nope. I hit that base. So it would have to be about right here to pull it off, I guess. Yeah. And um, it's a little easier from this way. This is head on like so. I mean, even from back here, I think I could probably. Nope. Nope. I made the mistake of looking at the figure instead of the uh, 
of the, uh, what am I trying to say, the uh, base, I'm sorry, the, the gap. That's what I was trying to do. Those are the kind of things, just trying to get some of the lint. Let me use a lint roller on this when I'm done today. Uh, let's try a different angle here. Let's see if I can squeeze through that angle. Just to be very surprised, uh, so precise. Oh, almost. Almost. Nope. I <laughs> hit two of them. You just have to know the, the, the trigonometry. There it was. And again, you, you don't have time to think about this during when the clock is running in an actual match. So it kind of needs to... Ooh, I tapped him, but that was pretty sweet still nonetheless. Oh, now spinning, that's another technique that I, I can't even demonstrate, much less teach anyone how to do. So we won't worry about that uh, anytime soon. Okay. No, oh, terrible. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get a little closer. It actually seems to be a little easier from further away. That's weird, huh? There we go. Okay. Let's see. What else can we dream up here? Um. <laughs> here we go. I want to try to shoot through this between these guys and stop before I get right there. And this is a little off center. No. no. Requires precision. Almost. Nope. I keep sliding to the left. And that's a technique problem. Again, sliding to the left. <sighs> It's like I'm aiming for this guy and I'm not. So there's a there's a problem here. Oh, I don't believe this. Now is it the band-aid? No. Um, I'm is this inaccurate with or without this band-aid on, so um, that's not the issue. <laughs> Somehow managed to hit everything. It's incredible. Alright. One more try. This may be beyond my skill at this moment. Well. That technically f fulfilled the mandate, but it just didn't travel far enough. All right. Uh, try to avoid fouls, you see. Uh, I, as best as I can tell, you can hit your own teammates, but you can't hit an opponent unless you hit the ball first. So That is what I've been trying to do this whole time. And doing it one time is fine, but... The goal, the ultimate goal, is to be able to do that every time. And I'm not sure that's possible, especially if you don't get to practice this every single day. I do feel like this is beneficial. It's also given me a feel for these super footy bases that have just been polished. Of course, after 24 hours, they, they don't slide as well until you polish them again. Oh, that was terrible. All right. Well, I hit that one. I heard it. Oh, I hit that one. Okay. Now, let's put this back in here. Let's, <laughs> let's use a different figure this time. In fact, I don't think I've used this one in a while. This time I do want to make contact with the ball. And I want to send the ball either this way or this way in order to avoid the two defenders, or the three defenders, really. So, let's see what I can achieve here. Nope. Hit that one head on. Okay. So the next practice session I'll film here will be um, dribbling. Ball control, such as it is. All right. Yeah, that's a little more like what I had in mind. I just like, now I want the ball to travel out of the uh, out of the uh, sphere here, out of the circle. Hmm. And almost made enough clearance to where I could actually uh, uh, touch this ball again if I wanted to, if the defender didn't get in the way. Okay. And again, 
my skill is going to be greater over here because I'm right behind the figure with, you know, with this natural curl to my arm here. There, that's it. Now, I don't think I could achieve the same results from over here, at least not naturally. Uh, perhaps not as well. Let's find out. Can't even hit the ball from over here. Okay. Try again. Hey, I did all right. Now, I'm seeing this a lot, too. The base is just falling over after making contact with the ball. I don't know that there's anything I can do about that. I mean, it's not a foul or anything. It's not an injury or anything like that. It's just a part of playing shuffleboard with figures on top of them, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't do that if I, want, if I was trying to. There we go. And, yeah, we'll talk about this whole wall thing at a later time. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some exercises bouncing, banking this off the wall. I need a lot of practice with that. Touch that figure, so that would have been a loss of possession um, if these were opponents. Same thing. Really slapped him hard. Okay. Building these skills can really frustrate an opponent and cause them to make mistakes if you're playing head to head. Because you can just keep control of the ball no matter what they do if you can pull this kind of stuff off. Yep. Alright. Well, I guess what I'll do is purposely aim to the left of the ball here and see what happens. I have still clipped it. As I suspected, just, you know, this is as. Okay, I'm now as far back as I can get. Well, as you can see, folks, the skill is not spectacular. I mean, it'll be a long time before it is, but these are the kind of things one must do to create, build those skills. There we go. There we go. All right, let me think of some else we can do here. Just for, let me show you something. Here's a, a Watford werewolf figure. This one has not been polished since uh, our uh, test match. And it still slides, but you can tell it's a little more sluggish and a little more, uh, uh, a li little less control involved. All right. I just want to try to uh, get the ball out of there. Poorly. Let's try again. Really, the ball needs to go straight ahead in order for this thing. Or something like that. See if we can go out that way. That'd be even better. There we go. There we go. And just for fun. Hey! Well, he went in the goal area. That wouldn't have counted. Uh, and at some point, folks, I will go through my rule set. It's only two pages. And we'll talk about that. I think I'm pretty satisfied with what I've come up with. Uh, I, in fact, I, half of it is from the old football express game from the 1960s or 70s and the other half is just uh, verbatim modern five-a-side indoor football there we go all right well i'm gonna do some more here i don't feel like i really need to record much else i mean we've been running now for over 20 minutes um this is some of the th things i like to practice when i get time and i don't get there's just not enough time anymore folks um but um these sort of things, and there's, there's, um, you know, on a full-size pitch, there's so much more you could probably achieve. Uh, know your bases. Know how well they slide polished and unpolished. And, um, well, you're just going to have to learn how hard or soft to afflict them with your finger. And again, I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you how you're supposed to do that, because no two people on this planet do it the same way. Uh, everybody has their own uh, special uh, uh, technique, and if anybody's telling you you're doing it wrong, well, unless you're doing stuff like this, or, you know, not using the proper finger, or, or you know, doing something like that. I mean, that that's specifically and explicitly against the rule of Vincent Budio, but um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is be wary of individuals who pop up and try to tell you you're doing things wrong. Um, four decades of life experience has taught me that those individuals genuinely don't know their own asses from a hole in the ground most of the time. 
Remember, there are hundreds of different rule sets for CBDO table soccer that have been put into practice over the past 70 years. And, uh, you know, a lot of the rules are wide open to interpretation. And in fact, some of the hard and fast rules in normal CBDO cannot apply on an indoor arena. If the, uh, if you got a figure right here and you need to try to pass the ball this way, you can't put all your fingers anywhere near the pitch. You're going to have to cradle it like this uh, to make your shot. It's just a, a rules adaptation you're going to have to uh, uh, use. Uh, and it's not written down anywhere. It's a, it's a rule born out of a necessity, typically on the fly. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching, folks. I think, uh, I don't know if I'll record any more videos at this time or not. Uh, I want to get back into my, uh, uh, my custom uh, homemade uh, gridiron football board game I'm trying to develop. I haven't looked at that in some time, and I, I want to get back into that and take stock and see what we can use and what we can't use. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll talk to you again real soon.